The next step now, after we, what we have done in the previous video, uh, after creating the cylinder mechanical part, uh, we need to add this uh, mechanical part to the library. And for this, uh, we can simply uh, go to the classification uh, route in the reuse library. And then we will go to the new resources and uh, hit right click. And then select classify part. And now we can we have to select the new part that we have uh, we have created, and then we will enter a description for it. Like for example, we will uh, add, uh, type cylinder, and for comments, for example, it's uh, pushing objects. To conveyor and then hit OK and now as you can see here um, the cylinder part is added to the reuse library thank you in the previous videos we already created the uh, cylinder assembly and then we added this cylinder assembly to the reuse library. And the next step now is to map this cylinder assembly to the um, template of the cylinder. To do so, we have to open Automation Designer through File, All Applications, then hit Automation Designer. If we open the reuse library to, to check the cylinder assembly, we can simply find it here as expected. And then from the collaboration tab, we select manage type mapping. And in the manage type mapping, we have to select external type, which is the cylinder assembly. And also we have to select the library type, which is a template that we want to map. And now we will get the template from the reuse library from Automation Designer. Then type library. And then device. Then motor. Then hydraulic or pneumatic. And then we will select the template named motor. And then we will uh, hit the plus or add mapping button. Then we'll hit OK. And if we want to check this uh, mapping is done or not, we will go to the manage object mapping. And here you can see all the mapping uh, done to the, all the external um, objects. And if we select it, here's the type mapped, we can see the mapping uh, we have just created a couple of seconds ago. And now we have to create all the uh, rest of the mechanical parts, and then we have to do the mapping as well as we have done for the cylinder. Thank you. In the previous videos, we have already created a mechanical part, and then we have done the mapping between this mechanical part and uh, its template. And in this case, uh, we have successfully created a mechatronic template by doing the mapping itself. So the next step now is to add um, the template based on the mechanical design of the plant. In order to achieve this, we do the following. We go to the uh, plant navigator and there you can find all the mechanical uh, parts related to the system. We select cylinder one and as you see, the uh, cylinder is highlighted in the uh, mechanical drawing. Then we do a, a right click on cylinder one and then select map to new based on type. And what it actually does, it calls the template based on the mapping we have done 
uh, beforehand to the mechanical part and then add this template to the project uh, to the aspects based on the configuration is uh, which is done to the template uh, before and we can check this from the function as aspect navigator we can see here that the uh, template is added to the project and when we hover uh, on the MA001, the template, you can see that the uh, 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 mechanical part is highlighted, which means now um, we created a mechatronic template uh, out of the uh, assembly we have created before and the mapping we have done to it. Thank you.